In this video, I'm going to answer a really important question, um, which is, uh, what does it mean to solve an equa equation algebraically? Uh, this is an especially common question with students who are just beginning to learn to solve algebraically, because the process when you're first starting it, it doesn't feel super natural. Um, it feels sort of a bit weird and stilted to people, I think. Uh, so it's really important to be clear about exactly what it means to solve algebraically so that uh, if you're asked to do it, you know uh, what to do. Um, now I'm actually going to start this explanation by um, showing something that is not solving algebraically. All right, so if you're an impatient type, you can jump ahead till I start talking about the black part here. But first I'm going to talk about um, checking a solution to an equation, because this is what people sometimes do when they're trying to solve an equation algebraically. So I really wanted to point this out. Um, so checking a solution is the process of substituting a value for an unknown and calculating um, how much each side is to see if they're the same. All right, so I'll show you an example here. Um, sometimes people might be asked to solve this equation here, and they're looking at this, and they're saying, okay, 3x plus 1 is 7, so that means 3x is 6, so that means x is 2. All right? And that, what they just did in their head there, is in fact... Um, a method of solving equations, but it isn't a nice algebraic solution. So they're thinking, okay, I think x is 2, and then they do a beautiful job of justifying. So they say, well, is it true if I replace my x with 2 here? If I add 1 to that, is that equal to 7? And then often they do a lovely job of showing all the steps. Yes, that is equal, seven is equal to seven. And then they even do a lovely job of writing this conclusion. All right. So this is a very lovely check. Um, and what it, checking feels like is, is you're like, it feels like you're trying to convince someone that your solution is correct, or alternately, that your solution is not correct. Um, so see here, we've substituted x equals 2, and look, we showed carefully with all the details that the two sides are the same, or they're equal. Right? So this is a lovely check. It is not, however, an algebraic solution. All right? So I'll go over what that is. Solving algebraically is the process of doing operations to both sides. So you do the same operation to both sides. And sometimes there's one operation to do, and sometimes there are a lot of operations to do. And you keep going doing operations to both sides, always the same thing on each side, until one of the sides has only the variable left. So one of the sides, in this case, is going to say, it'll say x equals a number, uh, or whatever your variable is. Okay? So I'll show what this looks like here. So we'd like to get x all alone, so we have 3x plus 1. I think the easiest way, we'll copy what we have on both sides. And the easiest way, I think, is to start off by subtracting 1 from each side. So here's an operation that we're doing to both sides. And then next I'll just write what we have left. So 3x plus 1 minus 1 is 3x, and 7 take away 1 is 6. And then we're going to do another operation to both sides. I just would like to have only the variable over here, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And that leaves us 3x divided by 3 is x, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So this is an algebraic solution. So if you, solving algebraically, to me at least, it feels like you're undoing the equation one step at a time. So each time uh, we have 3x plus 1, and then two lines later we just have 3x, and then two lines later we just have x. So we're sort of just slowly, slowly peeling back all the layers until we um, get our equation down to down to just a really simple equation here that just has the x on one side. All right, so this is what it means to solve an equation algebraically, and I thought I'd just throw in here an example of why this is really important. If all equations were simple, I think um, this wouldn't even be a thing. It wouldn't be a term. It wouldn't be something that your teachers asked for. 
Um, but I just wanted to show you an equation that isn't way harder. Um, if you're asked to solve 3x plus, uh, sorry, 3x squared plus 12x equals negative seven, uh, negative six. Um, here we've gone, I've just gone through, and I'm just showing, so what I've done is the same operation to both sides, I divided by three, and then here I added four, and then here we took the square root, and here we subtracted two, and here's our solution. And this is a solution that I think it is essentially impossible for anybody to guess. Um, this is, or actually are two solutions here, because we can have a plus or a minus here. And these are the um, decimal approximations of what these solutions are. So if we have an equation like our original here, it's pretty easy for most people to look at that and say, I think x is 2. But an equation like this, it's not pretty easy for most people to look at that and come up with, to look at that and come up with these uh, solutions right here. So this is why it's important to be able to solve algebraically. All right. Good luck with it.